Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm going to start by drying things off from the two inches of rain we had last night. Yesterday, I forgot to fill in the pocket screws on this rim board. So they filled with water last night and that's going to swell things up. It's not going to be bad but I need to get it dry and then fill them with uh, construction adhesive so they can't fill up again. Also I couldn't take these clamps off last night because I'm not ready to take them off which sucks they got wet i knew it was going to rain i knew they were going to get wet but i had to do it so i'm going to dry them off and put a little bit of uh pb blaster on them so the first thing to do this morning is to grab a ladder grab my heat gun you might have seen me drying off the the top plate up there to mark the locations of the trusses now I kind of now I got to do the same thing with these pocket screw holes. Hopefully it'll go quick. I'm gonna run across, dry all them off, fill them with the glue, and then I can get started on the trusses. And what I'm gonna do on the trusses is I'm gonna loosen loosen them up one at a time, pull them over until they're uh, touching the rim joist there or the rim board you can see where I have their locations laid out on the rim board there so I'm gonna pull them up tight against that pull them plumb and screw them in once I have all of these done then I can go to this side and I got to do a little bit of shimming and then put the rim board on this side Hopefully I can get this done today. Oh, another GoPro crash. It's already <laughs> it's already crashed twice in this just this opening segment. We're sending it back. Um, they claimed they fixed it. Square Trade is just a joke. You know, you order something on Amazon. Oh yeah, I'll get insurance with that because it's, you know, twenty dollars extra. And then if you ever use it, I have a list of stuff that we had to go through just to get this uh back broken. It's just nuts. But anyway, uh let me get to work. I gotta run across the street and get the heat gun and I'll start drying these off. This is kind of a waste of time. So what I did was I got a couple pretty dry, but it's just taken so much time. There's other stuff that I really need to get done. So I'm going to let this dry off, move the fan around, squeegee this a bit until it's dry out here and then start on these upper rafters. So I'll be back in an hour, maybe an hour and a half when this is dry and get back to it.
Okay, it's already four o'clock and I haven't filmed much because I'm in such a rush. But this took forever. What I did on this was loosened up this end truss here, moved it right in here in the middle, and then pocket screwed it every two feet on the outside and on the inside and staggered the pocket screws. Then moved it back, cut some spacer pieces. Um, what those are, those are just chunks of the, of the rim board. And I went along the whole thing and screwed it in and used a smaller piece of OSB as a spacer to make sure I had the correct spacing the entire way. This gets uh, the same parapet detail as the sides, but it's just screwed right to it. On the sides, or on the sides, it's uh, the parapet is screwed to the ends of the joist, and it's in two pieces. Uh, the one that's on there is the bottom piece. So. And actually, and I cut, uh, I cut all the spacers for the ends of the trusses. This truss is in, this was my test truss. The wall in this location has no splay to it. It can splay in the center here. So I use this to figure out my shims and stuff. So this one is actually in and it's just waiting for the shim. So you can see this one is nice and plumb. It's right above the stud. And then all the rest, you know, they, they're at an angle. There's a little twist to them and stuff. So what I gotta do now, like I said before, each one ha just has one screw in it, holding it in. I gotta take out whatever screws are holding it in the middle and then take out the two end screws, pull it over, pull it over until it's touching that rim board and then screw it in into, whoa, holy moly, if I wasn't pointing that would have hit my head, crakey. Reminds me of the tree falling and almost hitting me. Everything wants to kill me. As you notice, the wind is picking up, so I'm gonna have to be careful. So I gotta go around, start loosening these up, and then uh, getting them screwed into place. I don't know. I mean, this is really putsy work, so I don't know if I'll film it or not. I, I really have to move. I have about three hours that I can work on this, and I hope to get all of that side done. Then it's just a matter of uh, popping the shims on and getting the other rim joist on tomorrow. Then we have a wedding to go to, but it'd be nice to have at least that done when I come back. So I'm going to get moving. <laughs>
Okay, that'll wrap it up. It is, what is it, 6.30, and I am exhausted from going up and down the ladder all those times. Got everything put away that I need put away. Everything else is laid down, or mostly everything else is laid down. We have gusts up to 40 miles an hour, so don't want uh, things blowing away. So tomorrow, I, I'll take off the temporary bracing, which is this one, all this little stuff here, various boards. Then attach this bracing permanently, which will give me those. It's spaced exactly on that side. Then I'll have it spaced exactly in the middle. And then once that's done, I will get the last bottom rim board in place just like that one there get it glued and well actually first I will shim the ends of these trusses where's my oh they're put away shim them I got my I'm just gonna put them on with brads they're not structural at all it's all it's doing is spacing spacing the rim board out to the correct uh, distance away so that this comes out exactly 16 feet across. I'll show that tomorrow. So I gotta attack those on, cut the rim boards, pocket screw them, and glue those in place. And then I will do kinda like I did over here, except I'll do it all from this side. I don't have to keep running back and forth and whatnot. But that takes 24 hours to dry the rim board. And tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is the last day I have to work on this before the wedding. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll get that rim board glued in place. But I won't be able to attach this end until we get back from the from the wedding. So there's Miss Maisie. Okay, that'll wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. If you want to see the progress on this, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when I post new videos. A thumbs up and or a share would be appreciated as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.